Hello everyone. So today I'm going to um, talk about how we protect Marissa's central line and a little bit about parafilm. So parafilm comes on a roll like this. Um, it's paraffin wax and they use it in the laboratory to cover um, beakers and tubes, that sort of thing. So um, because of what it's made out of, it doesn't have any kind of adhesive and it's not going to... Um, no germs or anything are going to grow on it. So that's what's what makes it nice to use on a central line. So um, we get a roll like this. I order one about once every 18 months or so and it will last me. Um, and I use it every day. We just cut off um, strips the size that we need. We get it on the internet for about $15. So it's inexpensive considering how long that it lasts. So here's Marissa's line. And um, I'm hep locking her right now, so I've just finished that. Um, there are two places on her line that we use the parafilm. The first is here between the hub and the cap. So um, this space right here, it's possible for fluids and things to get down there. So we like to prevent that from happening. So um, we take parafilm and you just sort of tear it like this and then you can grab a hold of the paper. And the paper just peels off and um, it is clear and it stretches and it, like I said there's no adhesive so it just kind of sticks to itself so um, can you put your head up for me please you would just wrap it like this and then as you wrap you stretch like that and that way, if any fluids come there's in contact with the line, mommy. yeah, there's one more. If any fluids come in contact with the line, they just run right off of it. They don't um, get here. So, and then um, when we disconnect the flush, I use a Curo support protector. Oh, can mommy have that? Thank you. I just take the lid off like this. I was nervous about using these at first with there being a sponge inside. I was afraid the sponge was going to dry out and hold bacteria directly on her line. But I found that when I've removed these, um, the end of the line is, is still wet so they aren't drying out like I was afraid. And then I get my second piece of parafilm. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that I use this when she's infusing as well. So just like the diff the between the hub here and the cap, I would just use it between the end of the line and where it's connected with the, um, the tubing right there and wrap it around as well. So now she bathes and swims and um, this is all we do to cover her line. Okay, so then wrap here. Just kind of stretch. You just want to make sure that it's sealed all the way here so that no fluids of any kind can get in around there. I take it this way and up and then you can just kind of take your fingers and mold it together like that. Okay, can you put your head up for me please? So as you can see, it's clear so you can see everything that's going on there, but any it's going to protect the line from any any fluids getting on or around it. Now to remove it, all you're going to do is just take your your nail like this, grab a hold of it, and then you just peel it off. Mommy, ready. You want to see? Okay. Let's finish and then we'll watch the video together. So it's, it's being a little bit more stubborn than usual, but it does come off in one solid piece just like this. So that is parafilm. Thank you. Say goodbye, Marissa. Bye. Bye.